Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have seen how to write the APIs for the change password and the forward password. So if you haven't watched that video, then just go to description there. I put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing. Just click on the suggestion on the right side of your screen. Okay, so in this video, we are going to develop the category part. So first, what we are going to do is we are going to develop the model of that, that is, or you can simply say the POJO of the category. And after that, we are going to write the all three APIs that is add new category, uh, get all category and update the category. So let's start with that. So first we move to the POJO. Here, what we have to do is just right click on this and select new and new Java class. So first I'm going to create a new Java class with the name category and hit enter. It will create a class with the name category. After this, we have to put some annotation over this one. So first will be just move back to this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy these annotation that is data. Data is for getter and setters entity. Uh, that is for actually to create the table. And this is dynamic update, dynamic insert, and the table name will be there. I've already explained what is this dynamic and dynamic insert over there, and also explain the implementation in the previous videos. So you must check those out. So first I'm going to put this over here. After this, I'm going to change the name of the table to category. After this, we are going to implement the serialization. Serializable. This one. And we will create one ID for that. Private static final like this one. Press serial alt L to format this stuff, whatever you written over here. After this, we need three uh, sorry, two columns only over here. First is will be the ID and the second will be the category name. So I'm going to create one variable for that, that is private and it will be integer type and ID and the second column will be private string and it will be name and we need getter and setters for these. For that I have already annotated with the at the rate data. If you need specifically the getter and setters you can simply generate by pressing the alt and insert key. You will find this getter and setters over here. You have to select these two and hit on enter. It will generate the getter and setters. In the same way, you can also generate the constructor, but I don't need because I have already added one annotation that is at the rate data. So now the task is not done yet. So what we have to do is we have to put some annotation over here to tell the hibernate that this is the ID. So for that, we have one annotation that is ID. Another annotation is at the rate generate type because we want ID to be auto incremented whenever the new value is inserted. Okay, so I'm going to write it, generate it, generate value, and set this one. We have to pass the strategy. So strategy will be entry type dot identity. Okay, and next thing we have to pass the column name. So column and the name will be ID like this one. Now the task for the ID is done. Next thing we have the name. So I'm going to put the column inside this one, the name for this one. So column and the name will be name itself. Okay. So now our POJO is ready. Next thing what we have to do is we have to actually create one DAO. For that, just right click on this DAO. Select new. Java class interface and we have to name this one category now hit enter and this is an interface so previously we have seen that user DAO actually extends one repository that is JP repository so I'm going to extend the same stuff extend JP repository and set so this one you have to pass the category and this will be Second value will be the integer. Why this is integer? Because this integer is the type of the ID which we have in this bojo. 
So we pass the model or OJ over here and the type of ID which we have in it. Okay, next thing I'm going to write one query in order to actually fetch the data, which is get all products, sorry, get all category. So for that, what we have to do is we have to declare one variable over here. So I'm going to, and this one is going to return a list of category. So like this, and I'm going to name this one get all category. Like this, I'm going to copy the name of this one. Just move back over to the category and here we are going to write one named query. So just move back over here on the top and write at the name as a named query and name will be and double quotes we have to mention this one category dot method name and query is equal to like this one and say so this one we I'm going to write one query that is select. C from category C. Okay, so now for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the categories. I'm not specifying any condition over here from for now, but later when we add the product part, then what we will do, we will fetch only those category in which we have at least one product. So we are going to modify this query later. Okay. This, this is simply select to start from category, but hibernate in hibernate we write like this. Now the category, uh, the query is ready. Next thing what we have to do is we have to actually start working on creating the APIs. So before we start working on that, first we have to create two interfaces and two classes. One is for REST and one is for REST service. Sorry, the service interface and two ample classes that is REST ample and service ample. So first I'm going to create one REST. Right click on this, click on Java class, like interface, and here we have to name this one category rest. Like this, and hit enter. One rest class will be created. In the same way, we have to create one class. So this is category rest ample, and this is impl this implements category rest. After this, I'm going to create one service. Java class like interface category service hit enter and next one is category service ample like this and this implements category service like this. Next thing we need to actually put some annotation over here. So on the service ample, we have to put the service annotation. And on the rest ample, where it goes, category rest ample, inside this one, I have to pass the rest controller because this is our rest controller. Okay. Now we move back to the rest and on the rest, we have to pass some annotation that is for request mapping. So at the rate request mapping and at this one, I'm going to pass the path, the double quotes, I'm going to pass the category like this one. And after this, now the our template is ready. So now we can simply write the APIs. So first thing what I'm going to write is I'm going to write uh, add new category. For that, I'm going to put one annotation that is post mapping because I'm going to pass the value in a uh, response body. So this is with the post call, and I'm going to pass the path, write the path and say this one. So this will be simply add. And this is going to return a response entity, response entity of type string, and this will be add new category. And we're going to accept in the request body as I already told you. And I'm going to just put this required true. This is by default, but still I'm specifying that so that you can easily understand this. Okay, so I'm going to accept one map of a string comma string and this will be request map like this now here you can see this now I've written add new category and showing one related problem why because in the rest temple we haven't implemented this interface the declare method okay so what we have to do is we have to move into this one and here make some space just select on this 
click on this one implement methods and click on ok we will automatically add this over here so before we do anything what we have to do is we have to auto wire the service so auto wire and category service this will be category service like this after this what we have to do is we have to simply put the try and catch block first and say so this one we will handle every exception ex dot print start rest simply like this and in the case of exception what we are going to do is we are going to use return we have already made this cafe utils dot get response entity inside this one we, pass, we will pass cafe utils not cafe utils cafe constants dot something went wrong message and http status dot internal server error this will return 500 and whatever the message written inside this one in previous videos we have already made this get response entity so we are going to use it so if you are confused with this one so make sure you watch the video from first okay next thing what we have to do is we have to simply call this one so return category service dot and i'm going to copy this one add new category and i'm going to pass the request map but in the service we don't have this add new category so this is showing an issue so you don't need to worry about that just move to the category service and we will simply add this one over here what we have to add response entity of type string and this is add new so we have copied it right so add new category and this will expect one map of string comma string and this will be request map simply like this and if we move back over here now the issue is gone but here we have the issue because in the category server simple we haven't implemented it so i will just hover over this click on this one and click on enter now this one is implemented before we do anything what we have to do is actually we are going to add new category so we need to auto wire this one category DAO because we will use the object of it to store the data so first i'm going to auto wire it so auto wire category DAO category DAO like this one next thing what we have to do is just this one this will be the default error message so make some space and put the code into the try and catch block exception ex if anything goes wrong exception print star trace and next thing if here we go anything wrong then cafe utils dot get response entity and then this one cafe constants dot something went wrong and http status status dot internal server error okay so before we add the category as in the overview i have shown you that only admin can add the category so what we are going to do is we will check that first if the current user is admin so if and we have to actually make the object of gwt filter we have to auto wire it so jwt filter filter like this one why we are making this uh, why we are auto wiring the gwt filter so if we move back into this one so here we have this check we have one method that is is admin and if that the rule is admin then it's going to approve us or going to return the true value over here so just move back over here and first we will check that if current user is admin so jwt filter dot is admin if this one is admin then we want to perform the operation else we are going to simply return like this one return cafe utils dot get response entity cafe constant dot unauthorized access and http status dot and this is unauthorized and this will be returned in the case of if the current user is not an admin so next thing what we are going to do is we are going to validate the category map so how to validate it so if 
and say this one I'm going to write as validate category map and say this one we are going to pass the request map and one boolean value I will tell you why I'm adding this boolean value don't worry about that so first I'm going to just hover over this and create a method like this one and now the method is created which you will expect one map of the string comma string and one the boolean value right so for this one I'm going to change the id to validate id like this one so that you can easily identify why I'm writing this one so here what we have to do is if request map dot contains key name then we want to check one more stuff if request map dot contains key and this is the id because you also need to check this one so validate id so if this one is true then return true else return so this one if not validate id it means this one is true we will go inside this one and we will return true and if this both case fail then return false like this one it means that we are going to use this validate category map in over two places over here and in the update category case because in the update we need the id as well as with the name okay so this one is showing an error over here so this will be else if because we are putting some condition over here so else if okay so for now if we pass false over here then it will not enter inside this one it will only check that if name it contains name then it will return true else it will be it will validate for the id if we pass true so it will check for both name and id and it will return true if both the cases fail then it will return false okay so now we move back over here and here what we will do is now the task is and over here so next thing we have to actually get the model from this map okay For that, what we have to do is we have to actually write one method for that also. So get it. Uh, so we move back over here, private, and it will return a category object. So category get category from map, and inside this one we will expect one map of string comma string request map. And again, we are going to expect one boolean value. So boolean is add. Okay. Next thing we will create one category object. So category category is equal to new category, like this one. If is add, it means that why I'm using this key is add because if this one is true, then I want to set the ID. So category dot set ID and we will pass the id from the request map so integer dot parsed end and because this map the request map is of type string comma string but our id is of type integer so i'm going to parse it from a string to integer so request map dot get and i'm going to get the id like this one if this is uh, is add is not available then what i'm going to simply do is category dot set name and i'm going to get it from request map dot get and set this one we have to extract the name like this one and simply return the category so now we have the model of this category with the help of this method that is get category from map so what we have to do is we have to simply move back to the top and here we have to simply type category DAO dot save and set this one we have to call that get category from map and we have to pass a request map and we don't need to add the id so false like this one now this will save the data into the database but the thing is 
we also need the response that our categories are successful. So for that response return cafe urls urls dot get response entity and say this one need to pass a message category added successfully and HTTP status will be ok like this one now our category add new category stuff is ready next thing what we have to do is we have to test this one so for that first what I have to do is I have to just move into this application properties so that I can check the database so I'm using this cafe video so if I move back into this one that is category rest and to the postman before we move to the postman I'm going to start this one and I'm going to open the MySQL and use the database show tables so you can see this we have this category okay so we have some issue over here So here we have one exception and why this is because okay let's move back over here so we have actually written one we have made one small mistake so this is a category and inside this one the C needs to be capital so if I move back to this one category so here the C needs to be capital because this is the category we are referring so I'm going to just copy and paste it over here it stays save it and let's start it once again So now everything is up and running on the port EDD1. So if I move back over here and first thing what we have to do is we have to hit the login API. So move back over here and I'm going to hit this one in order to actually extract the token. So because we haven't bypassed this one. So I'm going to select star from user slash G and here you can see this. Now Tom. 5566 this email id is over here and we're going to use this email id in order to get the token so this is an admin token so if i move back if before we hit that i'm going to use this user token so sort of and here is the email id btkdays.care and i'm going to use this one two three four five six okay so if i move back over here this is the and the password will list one two three four five six so if i hit this one you will get one token and with the user token i'm trying to add the category so move back over here click on headers not headers authentication click on this one select this and we are a token and set this one we have to paste the token the new token after this i'm going to copy this url part Move back over here and paste it and this is a post call so select this post and this will be the category slash add so if i try to hit enter this one so first thing 400 bad requests because this is not an admin okay so because uh, the required body is true and we are not passing any body that's why the api is returning not the we haven't reached the service sample yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass one body so click on this one form data not form data raw and select the json over here and here we have to pass only one stuff that is name name will be pizza and try to send it so if i try to send it this is an unauthorized access because i am a user and i'm trying to access the admin api so if i move back over here here you can see this some query is fired and if i move back to this one that is the category service ample so it's checking that if this is an admin so this is not an admin in the case this is unauthorized access okay so now we are going to try with the admin token so just revert this one so this is the admin email id and password if i move back over to the database and here you can see this this is the admin email id and password so now we move to the postman and send it and 
if we move back over here just copy this part and just move back over here go to authentication change the token and just send it category added successful if you move back to this one select star from category and here you can see this now we have one inside this one that is pizza okay so now this one is added if we try once again with a different name so i'm going to add this one dosa and you can add anything if i hit enter category added successful i'm going to again fire the query now we have two now we have successfully added this one next thing what we have to do is we have to actually write an api to get all categories for that just move to this one the category rest part and here make some space and this will the get this will be the get call right either it get mapping and the path will be slash get and this will return a request sorry response entity of type list of category like this one get all category and this will expect one request request param and said this one this is required is equal to false because we don't always need it okay so this is a string and I'm going to name this one filter value. So why I'm taking one key in the get all category while we can select all the data and we can simply return all the data from the database. So why I'm uh, actually expecting one value because there is two conditions. Once when admin is logging and admin is going to uh, trying to add a new category or a new product actually a new product then it needs to be visible all the categories even it has product or not in that particular category so in that case we are going to pass it through over here so that we can fetch all the data and return without checking that if any product exists in that particular category or not so if choose a login or employee login and if they try to fetch all the categories then only those categories will, will be visible in which at least we have few one at least one product in that category okay so that's the reason i am passing on value and required false if you make this one if you don't put this one then it will always expect one value from you okay so now we move to the category rest temple select this one implement method hit enter and now this get all category will be over here so next thing again what we have to do is just remove this part and try and catch block and exception ex ex dot print start race return if anything goes wrong then return cafe urls dot get response entity cafe constants dot something went wrong and http status is internal server error that is 500 like this one next thing we have to move inside this one okay this is not the case we actually cannot return like this one we can return this message okay so we are going to make some modification over here so this will be of type question mark so that we can return anything whatever we want okay not not like that okay so we need to make more more modification in that case okay i'm not making any, any modification in this one for now so if we move back over here so what we have to do is just move back to the rest temple just remove this part and return new array list of just simply return new array list like this one and not like this okay just remove this part and view response entity of type list of a string you can mention over here or simply like this one okay next thing what we have to do is we have to use this category service 
return category service dot get all product get all category actually just paste it over here inside this one we have to pass the filter value like this after this now the task is done over here so it's showing an error because we haven't declared it over here in the service Let's just move back over here response entity list of category and to paste the name and it will be string value let me move to the category service simple make some space move to the top select this one implement methods and hit enter okay this is in the between so i'm going to cut this one and paste it at the bottom so now what we have to do is we have to actually put the code into the try catch block first so try and catch an exception ex ex dot print star trace and if anything goes wrong then again what we have to do is we have to return new response entity and this will be of type list of category and i'm going to return new array list over here like this one and mess uh, the status code will be http status dot internal server error that will be the 500 next thing what we have to do is we have to check for this filter value so if not strings dot is null or empty and this is the filter value and filter value dot equals ignore case and this will be true it means that the value is being passed and it's true it means that we don't need we only need all those value which contains one or more product in it so in that case i'm going to return new response entity and it will be of type list of category and this will return category dao dot get all category for now this one is returning all the values but we are going to modify it once we add the cat product part okay and http status code will be okay like this one and if this is not the case it means that we don't get the filter value then we will return new response entity and it will be category dao dot find all and http status dot ok like this one it means that if we don't get this value it means that this is null or empty then it will not enter into this if block it will simply find all this is predefined method which is provided for by the jpa so we don't need to write any query for it automatically it will be written by the jpa repository now that api is ready next thing what we have to do is just restart it in order to test it so just restart it now the api is started so we already have the token so move back over here just copy the token move to this one and just go to the authentication click on this click on bearer token and paste the token over here okay so this is something else so i'm going to copy this once again because this is expiry time of 10 hours so we can use it just paste it over here go to the params uh sorry this is a get call so just move back over here just copy this one and the path is get so if i try to hit this one we will get all the data and if we try to hit this with the value that is the filter value so here you can see this automatically all the query is written all the query select this one the find all is called and automatically the query is written okay so if i pass this value so if i move to this category rest in order to check the, we are passing this in request param so if i move back over here and if i pass the value filter 
value and the value is true and if I send it and here you can see this, again we get the two values so we can't able to bifurcate which one is being caught so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back over here inside this category if block I'm going to put one logger so for that I'm going to put one annotation over here at the rate SLF 4j with the help of this we can print some logs into our console so log.info inside if and I'm going to restart it in order to test it once again so if we enter into the if block then in this inside if will be printed over here so if I move back into this one and send it and go over here or to the console and here you can see this where it goes here you can see this inside if is printed over here it means that it we enter into the if block and this query is printed so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove this filter value so just remove it and now send it once again and move to the console here you can see this this time query is printed but this part inside if is not printed because we haven't entered into the if block and this is a this is returned actually so now the get all category is re ready next thing we have to update the category for that we have to write one more api so i'm going to stop it we first we need to move back over here that's it category rest inside this one we have to write one more api and this will be the post call so at the rate post mapping and the path will be update so response entity and it will return simply one string so update category and we will expect one request body and i'm going to write this one require true and this will be map of string comma string request map simply like this okay so now we have written this now we have to move into this category rest impl and here it's showing an error because we haven't implemented the interface just click on this implement methods and select this one again we have to put it inside the try and catch block We have to print the exception and return if anything goes wrong then return cafe util start get response entity cafe constant start something went wrong and http status dot internal server error that will be the 500 next thing we have to return category service dot update this name actually update category inside this one we have to pass a request map like this one and this is showing an issue because we haven't written this method is not available at the category service so we move back over here we will type it response entity and it will return one string the method name and this will accept one map of a string comma a string request map like this one update category now if we move back over here now the issue is gone next thing if we move back over here then it will show an issue because we haven't implemented that method so make some space click on this one implement method and hit enter so now it will add one by implementation of that one so here just remove this one and we have to put everything inside the try and catch block so catch exception ex like this one if anything goes wrong ex dot print start trace and return cafe util start get response entity cafe constant dot something went wrong and http status will be internal server error like this one so first thing what we have to do is we have to check that only user can update it so if jwt filter dot is admin if this is not the case then what we want to do is we want to return the then we will return cafe 
utils dot get response entity inside this one we have to return this cafe constants dot unauthorized access and the status code will be http status dot unauthorized like this one okay so now if this is the admin and it's trying to update so first thing what we have to do is we have to check that if that particular id exists in our database or not suppose i am providing the id 5000 and 5000 is not available in the database so we need to return that this id or this is a bad request and this category id doesn't exist in our database for that what we have to do is we have to before we do that we have to validate the request map so if validate request get validate category map so inside this one we have to pass a request map and this time we have to pass it true because true means that we have to actually validate the id also so if we move back over here and here you can see this if this is true then we have to it, it needs to contain the key that is uh, this one id also so if i move to the bottom so now this validation is done next thing we have to fetch the data with that id so uh, we will call this category doubt dot find by id this one inside this one we have to pass the id so uh, request map we can extract the id from this one but that will be the string so we have to parse it so integer dot parse end request map dot get and the key is id like this one but this is going to return a object of type optional so what we have to do is we have to store into the optional 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 is equal to like this if this is null it means that this category doesn't exist so if not optional is empty then we have to update it else what we have to do is we have to return one message so return cafe urls let me just minimize this one dot get response entity inside this one we have to pass category id doesn't exist and this will be sdp status dot and we can pass okay for this one because this is a successful call and next thing if this one validation is failed then what i want to do is i want to simply return cafe utils dot get response entity and say this one we have to pass the cafe constants cafe constant dot invalid data and http status will be bad request and if this is the case that everything is right then what we have to do is we have to simply say cafe doubt dot save and said this one we have to we need to pass a category object for that we are going to use again the get category from map and said this one we have to pass a request map and the true value because if this is true then it is going to extract the id and going to set it in the uh, that category object and finally we are going to return cafe urls dot get response entity and said this one we have to pass category updated successfully and status code will be okay like this one now our api for the update is ready so there are multiple validations first this is admin so if i start it and let's start testing it for the different scenarios so i've already shown you how to test for the admin so i'm not going to show that part so now we're application is up and running at the port 8081 so minimize it and move to the postman just going to copy this one click on this paste it over here and i'm also going to copy the token so just going to copy this token move back over here this is a post call so just change this one to post authentication select this one bidder token and paste it over here and change this one to update inside this one if i send it this is a bad request if i move back over here select this one raw select json 
and I'm going to pass the empty body and send it then invalid data. So if we move back to this one and here you can see this if this is going to validate the request message. So if it fails, then it returns the invalid data stuff. Okay, so this is why this one is returning this message. Unauthorized access, we are not trying it because we are using the admin token. So that's why it's entering inside this if block. Next thing what we are going to do is we are going to pass a wrong ID. So if I move back over here, so I'm going to pass one ID. That is 5000 and the name will be something test name and send it category id doesn't exist because with the with 5000 id in our database none of the category exists here you can see this I'm going to execute it once again. Now we have one and two. So I'm going to upgrade the ID two. So for that, we have, if we have passed the wrong ID, so we have tested for this one. That is this else block category ID doesn't exist. The message is returned. So now I'm going to pass the valid ID. So if I move back into this one and I'm going to pass the ID two and I'm going to send it category updated successfully. If I move back over here, here you can see this for the two, we have dosa, but I have passed this test name. So I'm going to just Select it once again. So here you can see this now. This one is test name. So I'm again going to change this one to dosa and send it. If I move back over here, here you can see this now. This one is working fine. So that's it for this video, guys. Now we have created all the APIs for the category that is add new category, update, and get all categories. In the next video, we are going to start with the product part. So just stay tuned, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.